So we will release uh, soon uh, the new Buzz, the Buzz Z5. Um, so it's um, our intermediate wing, uh, which is replacing simply the Buzz Z4. Similar aspect ratio and a similar concept for the same kind of pilot, but pretty much everything is new into it. It was the last model in the range that was uh, kind of using the old ingredients and uh, it was the last of its kind. The Buzz Z5, Buzz Z5 is using all the latest technology that we've seen in the new generation of wing. Uh, shark nose and, uh, and all, all the rest. So we'll have comfort, stability and uh, the safety expected for this category of wing. What else we have? Then we have uh, we also have a new harness coming, uh, which is uh, an XC pod harness called the Forza. Uh, it's taken at least a year or so to develop it. Uh, we think it's going to be one of the most comfortable on the market, and uh, the safety from the reserve uh, release is uh, probably one of the best. Uh, we've not actually had a harness in this. Uh, sector of the market before so it's something new for us uh, we've had the osium and this is a step up it weighs more like a normal harness uh, so we look forward to that one and then we also have two more wings uh, we have a light version of the mojo 5 which will be called uh, the jomo uh, it's a new addition in our range we didn't have this wing in the past and we thought uh, there was a high demand thinking or asking for it, so the Mojo 5 is a great wing. They wanted the same in the light version, so this is going to appear in the next couple of uh, months. Yeah, this is more like a hike and fly wing for people who want something a bit more than an ultra light, but uh, don't want to uh, have anything too heavy or too big, and want something easy in the mountains. And, and uh, then we also have um, another new wing. This is in the next two months. Is the uh, light speed which is a... Uh, it's a hybrid, hybrid wing. Yeah. It's based on the, like the mini, mini wing, uh, the Zero, but uh, made in a in very light way, lightweight. So it's a hybrid between the Ultrawide and, uh, and the Zero. Took a long time uh, to be uh, finalized, but we're happy with the result. We like the, the fun, the speed, and the, the lightweight. And it's going to come, uh, be available in the next couple of weeks. No. Do it. What is the weight on that? Uh, we've got three sizes, 15, 17 and 19. And uh, I can't remember the, size, the weight, but it's, uh, it'd be... But from the top of my head, I think it's, it's going to be between 100 grams to 200 grams heavier than the Ultrawide. So very close, still very, very extreme, lightweight. Um, that's it for the wings we're going to launch in the next two months, really. I really like the M6 very much. People seem to be really very happy with, uh, with the concept. Uh, I think for a three-liner with this kind of aspect ratio, I think it'd be quite hard to make something better without having to uh, create some downside, having to compromise some, uh, some of the, the good aspects of the wing. And, uh, and I think it's missing actually something between the M6 and the M2. This yeah. is why we are actually uh, looking into a new wing, an addition in the range that would sit in between the M6 and the Enzo. And this wing will be a two-liner, but more of an accessible two-liner with a similar aspect ratio to the M6. So that's why the M6 will carry on because it's still at the top of, uh, of the class. And another thing we haven't mentioned is uh, Delta 3. I'm sure people will, uh, will wonder what's going, what, what's, what's going to be happening. And uh, at the moment, we don't announce anything. We don't want to rush anything. Same thing, we think the Delta II with a similar, in this sort of uh, class, I'm not talking about CD or whatever because this is not relevant. I'm talking about the same sort of uh, class of pilots, so a sports class, aspect ratio around six. We think the Delta II is still very competitive. We like the comfort, the handling, and we don't want to rush to make a new product and then, uh, and then basically, uh, yeah, making some, uh, something that is not going to, to please the Delta II pilots. And uh, they are, so we have prototypes, we have uh, some ideas, we're trying some stuff, and um, we'll have um, a Delta III when it's ready. But I, at the moment... It's, it's also quite difficult because the certifications have changed for this type of wing for us. 
and uh, so we don't want to compromise this wing. We want to and get it right for everybody. Yeah, to go into details, now if you use folding lines, like the Delta II has been tested, you would get a, a D rating. So it means the Delta II today would be certified END, which is not what people want. And so it's obviously from three years of the Delta II, the, obviously it is not a D wing. It is it's a, not a D wing. It is a C wing. The only test that was used for the, with the falling lines was the, the, the accelerated side collapse. And the only way to pass, or one way to pass today would be to make the wing weak. And we don't want the Delta II to be weak accelerated to have more chance of collapses. This is why this kind of an evolution in the norm we're not very happy with and uh, we don't want to sacrifice the stability of Delta 3. So that's why we're trying different ways to make sure we'll, that the 3 will be C because that's what people want and uh, with the stability that is expected and the comfort and the handling that we, we like. So that's why we don't want to rush things, we want to make sure the 3 will be up to the 2.